Hello again, YouTube. I'm back with another update on my uh, continuing efforts to uh, to <coughs> excuse me get better at uh, doing my um, distilling of uh, fuel ethanol. And just as a reminder, in order to do this legally, you must have a alcohol fuel produ uh, producer permit that's available online from the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau. Um, now, uh, as far as the things that I've learned so far, I've learned that it's better when um, when, we actually, when we're actually distilling to where the water comes in at the bottom of the condenser, it flows up to the top of the condenser and comes out of that, the top of the condenser, and flows into the bottom of this component that's on the reflex, the reflux column. And then it flows up in the that this particular part of the reflux column and then comes out. Now I did have those reversed. I you know, as I said in my other video, this is just an update. Um, and you know, just for you folks that are thinking about purchase, purchasing a still similar to this one, especially if you get one from Mile High Distillers, um, I recommend you go this route because um, if you look at uh, their instructional video or their in their informational video, you'll see that they have it reversed. And by having it this way, I have found today that I have I could control the temperature of this component of the reflex reflux column a lot better by having it this way. Again, I really thank the uh, the viewer that made the suggestion, and I'm saying and I'm telling you, if you buy one of these, have the water coming in from the bottom. In the to the condenser and it goes up and then have and then connect the tubes if you can look here this tube is connected to the bottom of this um, part of the reflux column and that uh, produces a lot better quality of uh, ethanol and uh, this is you know my fourth jar um, and this will once this is complete then this will make a, a full gallon Again, just a little tidbit. Okay, take care, YouTube.